Ancient Faith Radio brings you the Law of the Spirit with Father Maxim Lissac. Questions and answers on the spiritual life. Father Maxim is the priest at Christ the Savior Orthodox Church in Ottawa, Ontario. Yes, the question is about uh, virtues and vices, and that very often one is the, uh, we can find one which is the antidote to the other, a virtue which is uh, a, an antidote to a passion or a vice. And if we looked at the passion of sloth, and it should be properly understood as a passion, what would the opposite be? Well, spiritual activity. So spiritual zeal, a spiritual jealousy, if I dare to use such a word, for holiness. But you know that the passion of jealousy that you and I experience is the, is the, is the wrong or distorted version of a true desire, deep desire for holiness. So the opposite of sloth is, is choice, is activity, is spiritual zeal. These are, the, these are the, the opposites. But I would also like to add another, which one might not think of immediately. One of the primary antidotes to sloth is love. Because love is true activity. When we are slothful, we are not loving. This hits us at a much deeper level. So sloth isn't simply the, the absence of activity. It's the absence of real love. Because real love moves us toward another person toward God, to the virtues. And so, on a deeper level, when we are slothful, we are lacking in love. Lacking, of course, in spiritual zeal and in activity. I just mention, as an aside, that the one of the words that the Father has used for the first stage of the spiritual life is praktiki. And it is usually translated from Greek into English as activity. Activity is a word that we use in English that can mean all kinds of things. It really doesn't have a specific meaning for us. But praktiki in Greek means something. It's, it's a spiritual activity which is in which we oppose sin and we acquire the virtues. So I think that would um, give us a few clues about sloth and how it could be addressed. Although if you read the latter and you read uh, Evagrio, so you read some of the great masters of the spiritual life, you'll find a lot more. If you have a question on the spiritual life, you can write to Father McSim at Law of the Spirit at ancientfaith.com. And be sure to like this podcast on Facebook. This has been a listener supported presentation of Ancient Faith Radio. Mm-hmm.